No matter what promises BP makes about compensating victims in the Gulf, the company will do everything it can to stiff them. So says the lawyer who handled claims in the last great American oil disaster. Brian O'Neill represented 32,000 Alaskan fishermen and natives in the Exxon Valdez case. He says he spent two decades fighting Exxon and that his clients received only a quarter of what they were due. Brian is a partner at Fagri and Bensonese He's with us this morning from Minneapolis. Brian, good morning. There are a lot of people affected by this spill. People in the fishing industry, people in the tourism industry, people in the oil industry. Just how pessimistic should they be about recovering the income they have already lost and stand to lose because of this spell? Well, I don't think any of them are going to be fully paid. And to get any substantial recoveries is going to take 10 or 15 or 20 years. Uh, so I think they're in for the long haul. Now, Brian, you say that Exxon uh, pursued all kinds of nasty tactics in its effort to try and deny more money to your clients. Are you seeing any evidence yet that BP is following Exxon's playbook? Well, uh, yes. Early on, BP claims adjusters attempted to get uh, fishermen to sign legal rights waivers in return for relatively modest payments. Uh, and that's a sharp practice, and they should have never done it. Uh, but right now, while the spill is still on Bloomberg News and, and other TV stations, you'll see BP, you'll see the administration, you'll see the state administrations all act relatively positively about BP's claims program. But let's wait until the fall or the middle of the winter when this is no longer on the front page of the newspaper and see what happens. Okay, so what uh, other kinds of tactics, sorry, Brian, is BP likely to employ in the future when it's no longer on the front page? How nasty is it going to get? Well, they're not going to pay. Or if they pay, they're going to pay a little, if anything. Uh, they'll force people to bring suit against BP. And BP, like Exxon, has the best lawyers in the world. Uh, and once you get into the court system, it's going to go on and on and on. Brian, does it help at all for the residents of the Gulf victimized by this spill that this has become a defining issue of the Obama presidency? Uh, you know, can you not count perhaps on the White House to keep this issue on the front page and make sure that his legacy isn't tarred by a denial of claims like the one you anticipate? I don't think that's going to happen. And the reason I don't think it's going to happen is that oil is a lot more important to the world economy than shrimp is or, or vacations are. And I think after this uh, initial uh, excitement that the administration is going to come to the conclusion, as all administrations have come to the conclusion, that oil is what makes the world go. It, you know, it's okay to have an occasional series of bank failures. But oil is more important than banks. Oil is the real deal. And for that reason, I think in the end, the administration and the state administrations and uh, the, the criminal prosecutors will all treat BP with kid gloves. Brian, you're probably the most qualified attorney anywhere to work on this case. Are you going to get involved? It sounds like uh, there's an element of disgust uh, with the way that Exxon handled the Exxon Valdez case. Would you consider doing BP, at least the case against BP, pro bono even? Well, I'm thinking about whether I'm going to get involved or not. It's awfully difficult to work on one case for 21 years. It would be like you reporting on one case for 21 years. So I'm thinking about it before I get involved. And would you do it pro bono at all just because you want to see justice served? Well, it's awfully hard to do a case like that for 21 years pro bono. But I'll tell you, with regard to the Valdez case, we weren't paid for 19 years. Uh, that's a long time to live on credit cards. Indeed it is. Brian, thanks for joining us. Brian O'Neill, a partner at Fagri and Benson, on what he expects uh, as far as claims go to the victims of the BP spill.